Hello everyone and welcome back to another NASCAR Racing 2003 live stream. How is everyone doing today? Thank you very much for joining in. As you can tell by the title, I'm doing uh, part two, uh, trying to recreate Ricky Bobby's Talladega Nights crash as well as Jean Girard at the end of the movie. You guys know the clip where they cut to commercial, the Applebee's commercial comes in, they come back, they're still flipping. And then they infamously run uh, to the start-finish line, set to that We Belong song. I'm not going to get quite that in-depth, but we are going for the crash itself. So we are picking up right where we left off on part two, or from part one, excuse me. I went back and turned the track I and I settings to about identical what I had before. Let's make sure we have the right car set. So the car set we're using is just one other car. Dega Knights. There it is. Alright. So right off the bat, thank you very much for joining in. If you guys could please hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't yet already, I would really appreciate it. While you are doing that, for those of you interested, I am currently streaming over on Twitch as we speak. If you want to go follow me on there. I'm also on Facebook and Twitter. Last but not least, if you want to help support this ch uh, channel, please go check out my Patreon page. Thank you so much to Ryan Fitzy, Tommy Joyce, and Jay Barker for your support on there. Really appreciate it, guys. Thank you so much. Oh, here's my Patreon page. Whoops. Last one was my Twitter. All right, without further ado, let's get to some wrecking. If you ain't first, you are last. The quotes are going to be flowing during the stream I'm suspecting all right so if you didn't uh, watch part one I heavily modified the track to where I turned the grip way up so it's really easy to tumble I turned the chassis grip up Drivers. which kind of will help with that uh, wheel ramping effect of them flipping uh, off of each other not flipping off each other flipping off of each other the big difference <laughs> and another one more key uh, change I made. I know it's going to seem a little silly, but the cars are going to be going like maybe 80 or 90 miles an hour, maybe 120, somewhere around there. Because when they were filming the movie, they were not going full 200 mile an hour Dega speed, but they were going like stunt driving speed. So they were not going quite as fast as they were in real life. And there's another tricky part. If you look closely at the footage of the wreck in the movie as they're tumbling along, you can see they are already past the start-finish line down the, uh, after the tri-oval. So they are already past the start-finish line, but however, to be accurate with the plot of the movie, I'm going to have to try to do this flip right as we're coming out of the tri-oval. Hopefully we flip a few times and hope we can both come to a stop right before we get to the start-finish line. I think I gave that up on the first time, because, yeah, look at... It took place on a straightaway, and the the wreck did, and the start-finish line is immediately after the trial. So, let's see how fast we go. Oh, he is going a little faster. Should be. I'm trying to slow him down just a little bit. I guess I didn't change all the settings. Exactly the way I had him. I'm trying to block him to slow down. Although this does look like something Ricky Bobby would do in real life. Force him way down below to where the other car is running below the yellow line on the apron. Ricky Bobby flips and Jean Girard is able to drive to get the win. That's the alternate ending. <laughs> Where Ricky Bobby sends uh, Jean Girard through the grass. And then 
John gets his revenge. Whoa, that was one of the weirdest crashes I've ever seen. The reason why he went airborne like that is just because of how the grip is. I have the grip turned way up, just so it's really easy to flip over. Alright, I gotta go blow my nose. I'll be back in like 20 seconds. Much better. Ricky Bobby probably had more PTSD after that one. I like how Ricky Bobby had PTSD after the first wreck, but after the second one, he's just immediately able to, to run to the start-finish line. What happened to the fire in the second one? Jay Barker, how's it going? Jacob Adams, Kyle Dean, Ryan Fitzy, Dale Jr. Fan 88, Bonzi Hunter, Kyle Bush, Chase Elliott Fan, Chrysler, Hunter Farmer, Jeff Gordon, Emerald Gamer, Tropical Cyclone, California Gaming, Bree Pillman, Caden Madison, or Mason. Trying to get as many shoutouts in as possible between the attempt. So, next couple attempts I gotta slow. I gotta turn down the Excel or turn up the AI drag. I gotta see what the settings were set in the last video. But I want us to go like maybe 140 tops. And obviously right now we're going faster than that. Could be going faster if I wasn't in front of Jean Girard. Trying to slow him down. So like I said, though, this does look like something Ricky Bobby would do. And there goes the 55, just riding the apron again. There we go. And right, just don't go into the grass. We're both riding third gear. Alright, come on. Technically, I think I crossed the start-finish line first, but holy crap. Ricky Bobby almost went into the fans in the infield. Hey, driver! Drive these! Gotta love that me paint scheme. <laughs> I believe both are available on NN Racing. I couldn't find the actual... Link, you just have to scroll way back. That's all I can tell you because, unfortunately, their search feature doesn't work right now. Or just try Googling Ricky Bobby NN Racing, and then maybe uh, the Google link will pop up to the car right away. Maybe that'll help. I want to go fast. John Gerard never flipped over in that one, so that was no good. So like I said, I want to go contrary to what the rear bumper says. I want to go a little bit slower than we're going right now. Mike Carpenter, John Clay Alverda, Alverda, excuse me. Great Fireman, Bonzi Hunter, Dominic Walker, DS Gaming. I need to rock watch Ricky Bobby again. I watch that once every couple of years. I'm yet to see, believe it or not, I'm yet to see Days of Thunder all the way through. I've seen big chunks of it. I've yet to see it all the way start to finish. But I've seen Talladega Nights a bunch of times. I'm a big Will Ferrell fan. Oh, what are you doing? He's gonna He's gonna hop back up the track once he hits that banking difference. Oh nope, he didn't that time. Ricky Bobby trying to fend off John Gerard on the final lap. Everyone else has crashed out, it's just them. The 
should have had them flip in the trioval to make it realistic. Because I'm trying to flip where they actually flipped in the movie, and if you look closely, it's already past the start-finish line. So I'm just trying to be as accurate to that as possible, and then I'll just do creative editing, just like the movie did. With all the camera shots. Come on. Holy crap, that was even worse than the first one. Somehow. I think, uh, the 55 demolished that, uh, wall on the inside and also went flipping back towards the outside. Holy crap. Holy crap. Toby Phillips, what's up? Who else hasn't got one yet? I want to see this replay. Jeez. And yeah, Jean Girard did flip. Jesus Christmas. Yeah, watch this. Boom. It's not too often you see AI flip like that. Well, they both flipped, but not in the right way. All right, we are going to just go back into the track I and I file right away because I want to change that. How fast we're going is bugging me. So I can guarantee they weren't going any faster than 120 in the movie. Talladega. All right. Go down to the track I and I, which we already have edited, but we have the original backed up. All right, what was I looking for? AI drag, I think that's it. YouTube. I'm trying to look up my first one. Ricky Bobby Crash. Because in the first clip, I actually showed my I and I setting, so I'm trying to go back and find those. All right, here we go. AI drag is set to one five two. All right, so that's what I forgot. That's what I forgot. Whoops, forgot to switch over the screen. No, I think I hit the two before, and yeah, that accidentally switched it back. AI drag, 1.52 for some reason. Hopefully that'll make us go the right speed. Alright, I saved. Loading the game back up. We are going to be going way slower this time. But that's actually a good thing. Alrighty, back to it. Yeah, hopefully the 55 will be going way slower. We want to be on like maybe 150 tops. Yeah, I'm trying to, right when we get near the start finish line, I'm trying to ramp off of him. I'm trying to get him to get the wheel hop with the chassis grip, so I'm trying to have him go flying, and then right at the same time, if I can time it right, just cr keep cranking the wheel left, so hopefully I go flipping, and we both do that weird kind of turning into each other tumble that they did in the movie. Jean Gelat. You have peanut butter in your mouth? I am a driver from Formula... Oh. <laughs> I never not laugh at that part. When he says Formula One in that accent. Here we go. Much slower. And he is 
doing low rider car again. Get back on the track. Get back on the track, you silly goose. Don't flip coming back up the banking. I'm just swerving like Ricky Bobby would be. Uh oh, he's gonna do the thing. He's gonna do the same thing he did before. Oh, no. Alright, trying to do it right after the start finish line. Come on. Darn it. That would have been decent for Ricky Bobby. We just didn't get. We didn't get the 55 to flip. And he drives on away, I believe. Yep. Alright. Let's try that again. Because, yeah, in the actual scene in the movie, it does take place, the flips, like, shortly after the start-finish line, like, right around the same area, right down here. So even though, obviously, it was supposed to, in the movie, the crash take place shortly before the start-finish line, it actually, realistically, according to all the camera shots and the footage, takes place after the start-finish line. So that's what I'm trying to recreate. Chat is frozen. Sorry, guys. If only YouTube had a live chat replay feature. Oh, wait. Uh, do, do, do. There we go. You gotta love that sound. It's like nails on a chalkboard. There we go. Ricky Boopy. Right, so we're trying to keep the fifty five from not going. Too fast. I'm trying to keep it like around 140 or 150 tops. Because I can guarantee the stunt drivers are not going faster than that. They're going probably way slower than that. Stephanie Oakley, Chrysler, Encrypted Chaos, Cedo Brown, Monster Jam fan. How are you guys doing? One more time. Uh, but the grip's so high, it's just so weird driving the car with the wheel. That's why I keep going on in the apron. I'm doing that completely by accident. I'm trying to slow him down, but I don't want him to get past me. There we go. through the trioval, have him get side by side. With Ricky Bobby, I believe, was on the outside. And try to flip coming across the start finish line. Alright, so that's exactly how I wanted the 55 to flip. I got the perfect ramping effect from him. I just timed my flip a little too late, so it looked a little bit silly. But that was that was what I was looking for for the 55, except I didn't want him to absolutely nail the wall like that. That was perfect. 
on John Gerard's part. I think the only reason he hit the wall so much is that I turned into him again and sent him spinning into the wall quicker. Boom. Boom. That was kind of in the right direction. And then once I get some good attempts, I can use the pit road cam to zoom in and do all those little close-up shots with the CCM camera control master. That one wasn't quite good enough to save, but it's in the right track. Hender Vengers, Jacob Adams, Diane Goes All My Fan, Ian Griffith, Emerald Gamer, how are you guys doing? It's like nails on a chalkboard. And yeah, that's another thing. I need them to both land on the roof, but... We don't know if they did in the actual wreck. That could have just been the shot they set up. So if I get, like, a perfect-looking attempt, but we don't both land on our roof, I can always just set up another shot side-by-side side of us on our... I'll, I can do creative editing. As did Hollywood, I can do some creative editing with this reenactment, which I'm going to have to. But I still want to... Because that main wreck that they had was still one lone stunt flip that they did in real life. And that part is what I'm trying to recreate. Because they weren't going 200 miles an hour, they were probably going like 110, 120 tops, if that... But yeah, and then I'm going to have to do lots of creative editing once I get some good attempts at this one. As did Hollywood. And so Ricky Bobby trying to fend off the lead on the final lap. Trying to hold off his nemesis, Jean Girard, in the number 55. Ricky Bobby swerving back and forth, doing everything he can to hold off Jean Girard. Get off the apron. Right, so I gotta turn into him at the perfect spot so he goes flipping right as I turn hard and try to go flipping at the same time. Hopefully he goes flipping like he did on that last attempt. God damn it, he might go flipping into me right here. Where is he? Alright, actually slowed down. That was a good thing. Alright, so right. Oh, darn it. I might save that just for the starting launch. That launch looked perfect, because we both basically flipped how I wanted to, but the 55 landed back on his wheels. <laughs> Gets a little hydraulics in there. Oh, that was almost perfect. Just look at the slow-mo of this. Of us coming together and... ramping over like they did in real life. Oh, darn it. If he just didn't clip me at the very end, he would have continued to tumble. Darn it. That could have been it. I'll still save that. Because that start was almost perfect. Yeah, Rick. Jean Girard never even flipped, technically. He just drove off. Left me in the dust. Talladega Knights. Crash. Start. Good. One. Next. <laughs> yeah, real life in quotation marks. Good point. The nails on the chalkboard noise. 
okay? Oh, my cat's hiding up a hairball. Darn you, Jean Girard. If you would have kept tumbling, if I have tumbled a little more, that one could have been perfect. I don't know if that works as good for AI as it does for the user cars. Alright, let's go, Jean. Mr. Girard. Who spends time with his gay horses. Keep it around 130, 140 miles an hour. Contrary to the... It says on his rear panel, I want to go fast. the rear view mirror he's gonna get airborne when he comes back up the banking maybe maybe yep there we go <laughs> little hop little hopscotch go. don't go through the infield of grass again come on I gotta time this perfectly oh, darn it Get him to flip that time. Oh man, I thought for sure I was going to land upside down. I just missed hitting the tires to where I would have had the 55 flip in. Ricky Bobby over and over again. Oh, for sure I was going to land on my roof there, but I didn't. Excuse me. There's that noise. Gabe the hype, they are hopping because I have the grip and the game turned up so much so we can flip easily. That's one of the side effects that happens. The AI will get a little hoppy sometimes if you turn the grip up too much. Amy Cox, you should see Talladega Nights. It's very funny. they'll ever make a Talladega Nights 2. That'd be weird. There might be one comedy sequel that I would actually watch. I usually don't like comedy sequels. They usually ruin the classics. I usually taint the classics. Like Dumb and Dumber 2, Joke Dirt 2. They're gonna make Super Troopers 2. I never saw all those because I have such fond, good memories of the original one. I don't want them being tainted by some crappy made-for-money sequels. But that's just me. To each their own. Gerard doing everything he can to try to get past Ricky Bobby. 
It is the final lap. God knows this is way better exciting, more exciting racing than what we saw at Talladega yesterday. Maybe 20, 25 laps total of side-by-side, two, three wide racing, and then just follow the leader the entire rest of the time. Oh, come on, I think the 55 landed that again. God darn it. <sighs> the way I try to flip after he goes flipping, we most likely touch tires when we're like flattened together like that, which usually sends him like straightened out. It looks like he's going to flip, but then I make contact with him when I'm starting to flip, and then he kind of straightens out. Oh, that's exactly what happened. I'm getting closer, though. One of these times I'll get lucky. I know exactly where I need to hit him to get him to flip. I got the settings right. I even might turn the drag down a little bit more so we're going even a little bit slower. That one was decent, though. If Gerard would just tumbled even more. So like I said, if Gerard would have tumbled perfectly and we both landed in the right spot, if we didn't land upside down, I would have just added that separate little cutaway of a different replay of both cars sitting upside down side by side somehow. Because I can guarantee they didn't land like that in real life when they did the stunt. I can guarantee for that shot of them sitting upside down, they just neatly placed them right next to each other. So I might do the same with some creative editing if I don't get a per perfect attempt. Ricky Bobby. All you have to do is say, I like crepes. <laughs> Alright, getting ready to go green. And here we go. By the way, I know this is a really random little fun fact, but I just noticed the other day it's officially been over a hundred streams since I switched to the switching the background image to the for the wait screen to the thumbnail of the video and then adding the little gif there instead of just having to be my default thing. Which added some production value to my streams if you ask me. Some people right away when they click it, they see in the little quick five or ten second gif down in the corner along with the thumbnail, they see what I'm going to be trying to recreate instead of that little default green flag at Daytona night. Alrighty. Let's see if we have any better luck this time. Nope. That one was a failure from the get-go. I mean, I flipped, I tumbled good, but not the right way, and yeah, the 55 never never went over. I didn't get a good contact, tire contact with him. I just forced him into the wall, and that sent me over from the grip instead. Probably would have flipped from that contact, even if the grip wasn't turned up anyway. Next! Green Caterpillar 1984, what's up? 96 Micro Sprinter, Kyle Bush, Cat, however that's pronounced. Sporty Gamer 8. How are you guys all doing? I'll switch back to the chat in a second. I never
ever do this while I'm streaming. Hunter Price, Dakota Lane, Mr. Heart Grenade. How goes it? Hit that like button if you guys haven't yet. I'd really appreciate it. We're getting some decently close attempts so far. There's nothing, nothing conclusive yet. I think after this attempt, I'm gonna turn his drag, his wind resistance up. Yeah, his drag a little bit more. So that way he goes even slower. The 55, that is. I want us to be going like 120, 130 max. Because that's about the speed they're going probably when they recorded that crash for the movie. So if I do it at that speed, we'll have the closest looking flips to the movie. Since they never recorded at 200 miles an hour. front of him. Slow the 55 down. There we go. Oh, come on, I gotta time this perfectly. Darn it. He just stayed sliding on his roof. Well, at least he flipped. He's up in turn one, still on his roof. And I think he stayed on his roof the entire time. Meanwhile, I tumbled like usual. That was like a Michael Waltrip in 2002, kind of. Instead of except a car right next to me, that was kind of him clipping. Lyndon Amick, whoever the 26 was. It's a nice little gentle rollover the entire way. Oh, nope, he eventually went back on his wheels. Next! I'm too drunk to taste this chicken. That's one of my favorite quotes, too. Anchorman 2, I actually did see that. I mean, of course, it was way more cheesy than the first one. It wasn't nearly as good as the first one, but I did actually have a couple laugh-out-loud moments. And yeah, God knows that ending, that ten, last 10, 15 minutes, they just threw every celebrity cameo they could possibly afford for the movie in there. Yeah, let's get Tom Cruise, Will Smith, a bunch of other guys, a bunch of other A-list celebrities that I can't remember. Amy Poehler and Tina Fey. I cannot see Amy Poehler anymore without picturing her as Leslie Nope. It's like Steve Carell and Michael Scott. I just can't see Steve Carell without just picturing Michael Scott and that character. They built a career out of it, so they go hand in hand now. And I know I said I would change the track settings after that last attempt, but I'll do it this time, I promise. I suppose I should do part two of the Jamie Max <clears throat> flip. <clears throat> Might as well do it while it's hot. While the demand for the that video is high. Might as well do part two sometime this week. There's not too many Dover cannery. I mean there's plenty I'm sure I could think of, but I can think of like Donnie Neuenberger's flip, Joey Logano's, maybe that big one that uh, Jimmy Johnson accidentally caused for missing a shift on the restart a few years ago. I'm trying to think of what else I could try. Yeah, I got a couple Patreon requests I also got to do this week, so stay tuned for that. Some more sprint car ones that I'll be trying. Some more dirt sprint car can I recreate. 
couple vicious crashes but both drivers I think involved in the crashes I'm gonna be trying end up being alright in the long run. Oh come on! Come on, he almost started flipping. I might actually edit something tonight after I'm done with this stream. A couple things, if I can find the footage. Darn it, I thought for sure... That right here, when he got kicked down like that, he would start... He would dig in right here and start tumbling, but he didn't. You know, back on his wheels. Boom. Harden to the inside wall. Next. 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 <laughs> hey, no screeching tire noise this time. gonna so I can stop having to block John Gerard aggressively the whole time I will try to just turn this up a little bit more the drag what a drag turn from 1.5 to 2 2.0 Alright, loading the game back up. I will not forget to click back on the chat this time. Because I know the riot that ensues if I accidentally forget to refresh the chat. Alright, everything else is kept the same. Alright, we'll see if Jean Girard is going a little bit slower this time. Jerry Stoner, Cars Fan 5 Racing. Who else hasn't gotten a shout out yet? At least one silly gang. I don't know if I got you yet or not. Nathan Rita, Retta. The Hendervengers. Chase Elliott fan. I don't know if I got you yet. There's one for safe measure. There it is. There's the tire noise. Also, by the way, save your suggestions you want me to try to do till after the live stream is done. I have a way better chance of seeing your suggestions if you put them in the comments versus the live chat, so... Be sure to hold on to your suggestions. Or just pull up my most recent video where the comments are already available and just post it on there. If you've got any suggestions, go do that right now. Instead of put, throw them in the live chat, because the live chat will go... And then I won't ever see it. Unless I go back and rewatch every single live stream I ever did live, which if I did that, I, have, I would have no time to do new ones. Right, so hopefully the 55 goes slower during these next attempts. We don't want him to be going super fast. There we go. Perfect. Right around 120, 130. That's exactly what I was looking for. Slow enough to where it be could eh, to where it could be considered. That's what I was trying to say. To where it could be considered stunt driver, like stunt speed, but still fast enough to where we can tumble a crap load of times if we get airborne the right way. This is probably way closer to the speed that they were going in real life when they recorded the stunt for the movie. That's exactly the aspect that I'm trying to recreate. Because the movie is just a bunch of edits and camera angles from the stunt. So I'm trying to recreate the stunt. Seven. What's in the box? What's in the fucking box? Sorry, I try not to curse too much anymore in my live streams, but I got quote 
can be said without the expletive. Right, come on. Oh, once again. Darn you, Jean Girard. And Ricky Bobby goes tumbling into the infield. And he comes to rest about 10 feet from some spectators who are all going to be running over for an autograph and trying to help put the invisible fire out. <laughs> Darn you, Jean Girard. One of these times I'll get lucky and have him dig in or flip over me. What? What? Like you coming near my gear much you shed so much you run the risk of ruining my gear clogging up the internals with hair and dirt and dust so off with you all right since that one was a fail it's time for a little next Back to crashing some Bobby of the Ricky proportion. Actually, hold on. He might actually be out of food. He might actually have a legitimate reason to be bugging me right now. he's complaining about he had plenty of food but did you hear that big swarm of emergency vehicles that flew by I had nothing to do with it I swear Ugh. Ugh. purple tattletale Clark McKee who else hasn't got a shout out yet. Out of here. I'm gonna get a bunch of hair in my petals until my last ones got ruined. I try to clean them. clean them out like twice a week. There's so much dust and cat here in our house and the three damn cats we have. So vacuuming frequently is a must. Heavenly Gamer. 19. The Cars Thomas Kid 12. How are you guys all doing today? Slow down, John Gerard. Whoa. There we go. Get us at a more realistic stunt level speed. Coming into the trial. Not quite so fast. I remember seeing footage somewhere. Someone like some spectator took footage from the stands, like amateur footage of the the stunt wrecks as they happen, completely unedited. kind of a gentle landing for what it was. Can you, like, help me? Am 
might be hurting after that, so load me into the ambulance or tow me away, please. Throw it away. They didn't even have to drive an inch. <laughs> Look at the wheel with the heightened grip. It just wants to freak out on its own. When you turn the grip and the track up, the wheel becomes haunted. <laughs> All right, let's go, Johnny boy. Show me what you've got. I don't like having the centering spring strength on. It feels weird, in my opinion. I like just purely the force feedback. So I have the centering spring turned off on purpose. Just the field of force feedback. I don't like that center in the spring. Although I haven't tried adjusting them all. I don't know, maybe I'll try tweaking some settings around the suit if anything differently feels better. I haven't really tweaked my settings too much till since shortly after I got my wheel. Ah, Ricky Bobby. Uh oh, it's going to the infield. At least I landed upside down. Holy crap. Holy crap. If you guys got any suggestions, just open my most recent video and then put them in the comments there. Oh, darn it. I almost got John Gerard to tumble. Jeez. I just hit that wall perfectly to send me... How high was I in the air at one point? The way I hit that wall just launched me over at the highest point. I'm like right here. It's got to be a good 20 feet off the ground. Yeah, I can't keep driving after that, especially since I'm upside down. Next. Jacob Monday, Wolfgang. Traveling toy guy. <clears throat> Excuse me. Whoa. Still haven't gotten the perfect launch yet. Or the perfect flip for Jean Gerard. done in a while that I might do sometime tomorrow. I might do some iRacing streaming during the daytime. Try to work on getting my C license. I already got a rookie for both dirt and 
pavement oval. I'm still rookie in both the global rally cross and then road courses. CRT Network, Beast Mode 9000, Zillian Hubbard. Thanks for joining in, you all. Y'all. Y'all. Hey, driver! Drive these! Please be 18. <laughs> I love really thin pancakes. <laughs> I tried going into Milwaukee today earlier. Some sort of shenanigans going on on the freeway. They're picking up some debris or something. So, like, there's just so much traffic, and I was getting so road raged. I was like, why is there all this traffic? I specifically came here when there wouldn't be lunch hour traffic before rush hour traffic. There's no Brewers or Bucks games going on. Of course, he flips over and doesn't tumble. Oh, he got into the grass. So we both technically tumbled, but that wasn't quite good enough. Yeah, when I... On my way back, I heard on the radio that the reason for uh, the delay is that they're picking up some debris on the freeway. All I could think it was caution for debris. <laughs> that one wasn't quite good. They never got to the grass. He never flipped in the grass. Discord. I should really look up how to use that and what it's used for, because I know I joined my own Discord a while back, but I'm, like, never on there. So I apologize to any Discord users that's on my page right now. I would feel more bad if I had a link for it down below that I was pro actively promoting it and never went on, but... Ugh. Excuse me. Dale Jr. Fan 62. I need to wreck before the line. I got into that. I know in the movie plot, they came to arrest before the start-finish line, but if you look closely at the footage, they actually wrecked after the start-finish line. So I'm going to have to do some creative editing. I'm going to have to do the crash, and then I'm going to have to do a separate one where I somehow get both of our cars upside down next to each other in front of the start-finish line. Like the movie did, like Hollywood did, I'm going to have to do some creative editing with this reenactment. It's going to be impossible without. I gotta say, if it wasn't for my Cody H Gaming Facebook page, I probably would have deleted my personal page already with all that nonsense going on with the security stuff. I was always paranoid about that stuff and then it basically came out as being a fact. All the stuff that people thought were people were crazy for talking about is now coming out is actually true. Like, Apple was purposefully making their computers, forcing it, force-feeding you with updates that purposely made your computers obsolete to force you to buy a new one. Facebook was spying on you and selling your info to various advertising agencies. Various phones, smartphones, so the cameras and microphones are always on. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, darn it. Holy crap. That wasn't the right wreck, but that was probably the most vicious one for both of them. They both hit that inside wall a ton.
video is called Filming Talladega Nights NASCAR. Oh, I actually have to look that up. So yeah, for all you saying that it happened before the start finish line, I want to find that video to show you otherwise. All right, where did it go? Filming Talladega Nights. Boom. I rem Holy bad quality. So I've actually been doing it right. They start flipping like right at the start finish line and they're going way slower than 100 miles an hour. All right, I'll show you. Thank I don't think I'll get in trouble for copyright for this. Thank you to Jay Doyle for the capture that I'm going to show you guys like 10 seconds of. All right. So yeah, here's from the spectator. Here's taken from the stands like right at the start finish line. They're going, they're going, and then boom, they start flipping. And then they tumble, they tumble, the shots you've seen over and over again while the Applebee's commercials going in and out. All right. So yeah, I've been doing it at the right spot. Just shortly, just right at the start finish line is when I'm trying to start flipping. And that's been where I've been doing it. So, told you guys, it doesn't actually happen before the start finish line. did show it on the screen, you goofballs. Calm down. <laughs> yeah, there must have been some sort of hydraulic pistons at the bottom of the... on the bottom of the cars to, like, launch down against the pavement. To, once those things were activated, yeah, just launch those cars up so they can flip on purpose. Unfortunately, I don't have that luxury of having those in this game, so I'm doing the next best thing and trying to turn into one another and have us flip like that. By the way, if anyone makes a ever makes a jet dryer mod, please let me know. I'd love to try to reenact the Juan Pablo Montoya crash from the 2012 500. Made in a factory, a bomb factory. They're bombs. <laughs> oh, I need to watch some old SpongeBob. The first few seasons of SpongeBob, like before they got to five, were that was some TV gold. Like adults could watch that now and get the humor and appreciate the humor, as well as kids. And they just got really ridiculously cheesy and over the top and. Just stupid and obnoxious. Like all shows do when they get popular enough. I'm probably going to have to slow John Gerard down even more. Alright, so right at the start finish line. Get back here, you bastard. Alright, that one sucked. That one's not even worth a replay. I'm just going out to the track I and I and just cranking up the... the AI drag even more than I had it to have him go even slower. AI drag 4.2. There we go. Save. Loading the game back up. Alright, click back on the chat so you guys don't go into a frenzy again. Alright, we are good. Hopefully, the 52 should be going way slower. See you later, Chase Elliott fan. Yeah, that's right, I still have to recreate the great snail race crash. 
Can I recreate Gary the Snail's Great Snail Race Crash? And our 2003 livestream episode 400. <laughs> That's the one I've been keeping secret from you this whole time. Black One, Master Gaming. Who else hasn't gotten any shout outs? I'm gonna try a stream for probably like two and a half hours. Pantalica, Chance Wyatt, GMA Blocks. Oh, that stinks. I'm sorry to hear that. Most man know what it's like to lose a job or two. Just gotta get back on the horse and find another one. You know, it's easier said than done, trust me. I don't want to give too much away, but... So we've already mentioned, I think you I think I am gonna try to I know it was the Florida 500 or whatever from Car 3, but I think I'm gonna try to do that that ending crash where Cruz Ramirez goes over Jackson Storm for the win over the top of him for episode 400. I know it was the Florida 500, I believe. But I don't want to wait that long. I want to try that one, and God knows it's been. That's been basically my biggest request I've gotten, aside from the Jamie Mack one. It's going way slow. They're probably going closer to this speed when they did the flip. If not even slower. Seems like we're pacing right now, but no, we're just going really slow. The same, about the same speed the drunk stunt drivers are probably driving. Maybe a little bit faster, actually. Alrighty, perfect. I'm gonna try to make that wheel contact to have us both launch right at the start finish line, like we just saw in that clip. Oh, damn it. I'm definitely keeping the start of that one. The start was really good. Oh, damn. That was... I think I'm, I think I'm on to something. I actually did get... Darn it. Just went a little too far to the infield, both of us. That was pretty damn close, though. One spicy boy, thanks for joining in. Be sure to be sure to hit that spicy like button. Sorry, that was really bad. I'll walk myself out. Darn it. Darn it. That's decently close, All right? Talladega Knights. Crash, start, one. Actually, I can't remember what I named the other one, but it obviously wasn't that, if it didn't overwrite it. Next, and our OL Racing League, thank you for joining in. I've got mostly everyone at least once in the... Pantalica, I don't, I don't know if I got you yet. I got everyone at least wants a shout out that's been in the chat. If I did miss anyone, I don't think I missed many. Right, so we're about halfway done with this stream. I'm gonna go for another 
hour and 15 or so. Probably going to try to hit around the two hour, 30 minute mark for this one. I don't know if I'll quite have the endurance to go three hours. I'll try to go well over two. I actually haven't seen Logan Lucky. I probably should. I'm trying to keep up to date with the the recent racing comedies, but no, I haven't seen that yet. I've heard mixed things about it. See you later, Dakota Lane. Thanks for joining. Epic Studios, thank you for joining. How are you doing? I've gotten a few really close attempts. Actually, you know what? I could probably just try this right now. Darn it. That's probably the, yeah. Around 70 miles an hour. That's probably the perfect speed. That's probably, like, exactly the speed they were going. When they did that wreck. Because, yeah, go back and watch that video clip really quickly. They were not going that fast, but I'm still going fast enough at that speed to where I can tumble a bunch of times. I tumbled four or five times that. In that one. Yeah, someone needs to paint a... make a snail mod. <laughs> For the great snail race. And the four different chassis type can be the four different the shell shapes. Cheryl Schackenberg. I did not see any comments on Twitch. I'm going to actually pause and go do that right now. HWF 7 or 12. Roblox is the best. 1992. How are you? Over on Roblox. Or oh, over on Roblox. Over on Twitch. My mind just jumbling words. Master Gaming, see you later. Yeah, I'm actually, because we're probably going right at the exact speed that they were going in real life, probably around 70, 80 miles an hour. So I'm just going to do this for coming right off the pace lap. I'm going to try to get the flip. Because the pace car looks like he should be uh, sitting still by that point. So if I need any camera angles from the pace car, he'll already be uh, stationary. By the time flipping. Oh, once again, another start that was perfect. The first half of that one was perfect, but the second half was missing. I'm still gonna keep, save that, because yeah, as long as we're getting parts where we can use clips, I might just have to do where I did with the McQueen crash and just edit various uh, replay clips together just creatively. That one wouldn't be terrible. Talladega Knights. Degta. Knights. <laughs> like Australian right there. Talladega Knights. Crash. Start. Two. <laughs> Gary the snail. Poor Gary. So like I said, if a realistic if a realistic NASCAR 90s mod ever comes out for Beam NG Drive and a realistic Bristol. Very first crash I'm trying with that is I think the only crash I'd really want to try with BMMD Drive is, uh, is really Michael Waltrip's Bristol crash. And maybe I'm uh, Mark Harmon's. That'd be interesting. 
try to do some reenactments in games other than NR2003. It's just the perfect balance between the endless paint schemes, the car mods, all the tracks, the just the amazing physics of the game, the particularly amazing crash physics, combined with the fact that uh, you can edit the replay, the camera angle exactly to how you want it. I mean, it's just the perfect, perfect blend for these motorsport reenactments. I mean, I could try other games or softwares, but darn it. Darn it, I actually got Jean Girard to flip a bunch of times that time. And I didn't, of course. Alright, I missed the contact at the start, so I messed it up. Whoa! He went flying. I don't know all the hotkeys for the forward and reverse and slow motion, but I do know the... Jeez, he went roof first right into that inside wall. See, if I could have been flipping during that, I could have used that, those clips for the second half of the crash. But that one wasn't good. I'm glad I had this revelation to uh, try the attempts just coming right off of the pace lap right at the start of the green flag because... That's probably right where... Probably right where they're, uh... Flipping in real life at, like, a, the exact same speed. They're probably going about 70, 80 miles an hour when that... Wreck happened. The stunt for the movie. Shrimp Nuggets Jr. How's it going? Yeah, it's cool in the big leagues when you break your bat. It's not cool when it's your bat that gets broken. <laughs> Some of these have been really close. It's kind of like the Jamie Mack crash. I'm, uh... Getting a lot of close attempts. Some aspects of certain ones have been perfect, but I haven't gotten one where all of the aspects of one particular attempt have been perfect. It's one big reenactment tease. Oh, come on. Of course, that time. Oh, and I couldn't even use that as the ending clip where we both land upside down. I'm still... I mean, that one's close enough. I'm gonna maybe possibly use it for a camera shot or two. I'm just gonna start editing the crap out of this one. I mean, the start of that, once again, was perfect. He just... didn't freaking tumble. And of course, I went back on my wheels at the very end, so I couldn't have even used that as the shot for both of them on their... top side by side. Whoops. Yeah, I think I've think I've developed the right technique to try to do this. And I know it's the green flag waving, but if you see it from a distance, you could maybe mistake it for the checkered flag. Talladega Knights. Crash. Start. Three. Next. <laughs> Chant Gerard is macchiato. You spilled me macchiato. Close. So incredibly close. Doge meme. What's up? Speaking of Doge meme, 
I need to start working on the reenactment. I might do that tonight. Shoot, I hope I didn't give something away. Hope I didn't give it away. Give it away, give it away, give it away now. I actually do not like that band at all. I mildly enjoy a couple of their songs, but I don't like the band as a whole, which is weird. For someone that plays bass, I don't really like Red Hot Chili Peppers that much. Oh, come on, now he lands back on his wheels. You goddamn French bastard. Ugh. Perfect start, but darn it, not quite enough tumbles that time. Yeah, if you Google or if you YouTube filming of Talladega Nights, you'll see the clip right away in the first video that pops up of the actual unedited crash filmed from the stands. The quality is a little bad. It's probably not the filmer's fault. That was like the early days of YouTube when the compression was absolutely horrible. Actually, I have decent quality on YouTube now. Actually, I have really good quality on some videos. Yeah, but remember like the early days of YouTube, like the late 2000s? Before the 2010 days? When the YouTube compression was just awful. The 360p and 240 days? If you guys have any suggestions, just pull up one of my more recent videos and throw them on there. If you guys try giving me sur your suggestions on the live chat, it's just going to go... And I'm just going to miss it right away. If you post them in the comments of a video, then you guys can thumbs up each other's suggestions. I don't know which the more popular ones are. You don't even need to wait to be over, just pull up, just pop up my most recent upload. Aw, oh, shoot. I'm gonna have to do a full another lap, because I forgot to do it this time. On the pace lap. But yeah, I need to... <sighs> need to pay more attention. Taking a lap around Talladega seems pretty damn long when you're going 120 miles an hour. Whoa. Both riding the high lane. John Gerard moves down low, Ricky Bobby goes down to block. It's an intense last lap. Ricky Bobby's doing everything he can to hold the 55 behind him. Ricky Bobby, one more block. John Gerard with the crossover. We're coming to the start finish line. We're just going to pretend we're a quarter mile from the start finish line when we flip right here. Darn it! Holy crap, did you just see what happened to the 55? Jean Girard definitely spilled his macchiato in that crash. <laughs> Holy kittens. That was a brutal hit. <laughs> Damn. Darn. Dang. Damn it, whatever you want to say. That was a that was a big hit. Now what I needed I wanna go fast. Perrier water. I don't know if I've ever tried that water. If we've tried a, an attempt through Ricky Bobby's point of view yet, maybe that'll maybe that'll give us some luck. We'll get 
some luck this way. Ooh, excuse me. Again, I'm not tired. I'm just because I'm sitting still for a while. It's making me yawn. Actually, I can't see where I need to hit him. I'm just going to go back here. Oh my goodness, that's definitely the best one I've gotten yet. We didn't land upside down, but... Alright, I'm going to show you guys... Shoot. Filming of... Filming Talladega Nights. Alright, once again, thank you to... J. Doyle 21 for the capture. But yeah, if we go look at this, I know the quality is kind of bad, but this is what we we're trying to recreate. I know the movie, it's kind of edited to look a little different, but this is kind of what we're trying to recreate. Let's see if you can see a little better quality with the. If I make it a little bit smaller. That was pretty damn close. I'm gonna definitely save it, obviously. So that is what I'm going for. That was the unedited version of the crash filmed for the stunt for the movie, and then similar camera angle. Here's what we just got. I'm definitely gonna use that for definitely some clips. Just like I said, for this one I'm gonna have to probably do a lot of editing like the Lightning McQueen crash. And obviously this was a Hollywood movie. It had a lot of creative editing within it, so I'm going to have to do the same for the reenactment. Alrighty. Then I'm going to have to cross or just fade it out right when it shows the cars rested and upside down, because obviously there's no people in this game. I can't have them run across the start finish line unless I just cut to a clip of Carl Edwards. Talladega Knights End Crash Attempt One. Alright, let's try that again. NASCAR man, blue OP stir. How are you guys doing? Probably gonna go for another hour or so, especially if I can, especially if I can keep getting decent attempts like this. How do I hook the wheel to the computer? USB, a power cord, and Logitech software. That is how. Oh, I don't think I missed too many people in the chat. I'm trying not to spin. I'm just trying to... If I crank the wheel, I can flip right away. And I need to crank the wheel into the left of... To the left into Jean Girard's car to get him to do that chassis grip type rollover anyway, so... I think I've developed the perfect method. It's just a matter of getting the perfect attempt. Nope, he's not going to flip that time. Holy crap. I was just like perfectly balanced on top of that wall upside down for a few seconds. Yakina, Yaga, Jaga, however that's pronounced, if it's a silent J or a hard J. I apologize here. Your name's a little difficult for me, but hello. How are you? Who else hasn't gotten a shout out yet? What do you want? 
Get away from my pedals. Circling me like a velociraptor. You sound like a velociraptor too. You sound as frightening as one. Meow. Don't you meow into the microphone. Are you camera shy? You're not trying to be cute. You're trying to rub your scent on me and claim me as your territory. I know how cats work. Are right, you going to get a perfect attempt this time? Nope. That's going to hurt. I think both stunt drivers probably would have died if that happened. Because they probably were old stock cars, but they probably weren't built quite to the specs of actual racing stock cars at the time. Those are probably just the old ones that they painted. My cat's usually not around. They're usually sleeping. Ironically, they're usually only bugging me when I go live. It's going to be hard enough trying to get the thumbnail for that, uh, the Jackson Storm and Cruz Ramirez finish. Cruz, and Cruz Ramirez flipping over the top of Jackson Storm after being forced into the wall and flipping over the top and landing on his, her wheels, his wheels, whatever. Going for the win. Still need to see that movie all the way through. I've seen bits and pieces. See you later, Zulin. Take care. Ah. ah, Ricky Bobby. Oh, come on, you were so high in the air and tumbling. How did you not keep tumbling? The 55 I'm referring to. He was like upside down on his nose. How did he land back down perfectly without continuing to tumble? <sighs> Seriously. I didn't tumble as many times as I should have either, so I guess it's not that bad. Drag Racer 101. Thanks for joining in. Days of Thunderfish. I need to watch that movie all the way through before I start trying to reenact stuff from it. Yeah. I've seen bits and pieces over, over the years. But yeah, believe it or not, based on what this channel's content is all about, I have not seen Days of Thunder all the way through yet, start to finish. Pretty sure that movie was made before I was born, too, so there's no excuse. Wasn't that like 1990? Early 1990s? Clayton 842. You've got food, you've got an empty litter box, you've got a bed, you've got clean water. What do you want? And I got cats instead of dogs because I thought they wouldn't be needy. And 
Once again, the 55 don't flip. Another wall ride. And one of the few wrecks in this game where you actually land on your side. Unless you're propped up against something, it usually doesn't happen unless you're perfectly balanced. I've only ever seen a car land on its side when it wasn't propped up on something maybe two or three times after a flip. Whether it was me or an AI car or someone else. Evan MK. Reno Ramadan. Corvette Racing 48. Yeah, if only, exactly, if only there was a mod. I don't know, someone could make a mod. So it just looks like little people just running. <laughs> I've seen weird mods for this game. Tumble 55. Is that just doing like a no stand? Sure. The one time I get the 55 to tumble, I do an insanely hard, incorrect crash into that inside wall. Kool Aid, what is up? Rodri Marty. Actually, that wasn't really a good tumble for Jean Girard. I know this is a weird... A weird comparison, but just the way I hit the wall while flipping... And then just came to a stop while doing a few twirls in midair and then landed back down on the ground. I forgot who. I know it was a... And it was the debut race of Formula E, but right at the end, two guys got together. It was Prost's son, or whoever that was, made a erratic maneuver, basically wrecked the guy in purpose, and he went sliding and destroyed that damn uh, barrier and flipped upside down a few times in the air. That hit into the wall, and then the, s the subsequent spins in the air kind of reminded me of that a little bit. I was trying to stretch really far, far trying to make wreck comparisons. <laughs> God. If I'm sitting still, yawning just becomes an epidemic. I don't know too much about Formula 1, all I know is that Alan Prost was one of Arden Senna's big rivals back in the day. I'm not even sure if I'm pronouncing Senna's name right. There we go. I don't know, I can maybe use that. He tumbled a few times. I could maybe use that for a couple clips. I read something really freaky about those Formula E cars. Oh, he only flipped twice, never mind. I'll still save it. But yeah, something I never thought about, but yeah, now it's a really obvious factor when you think about it. When those things wreck, the safety crews that come in, they need to lay down like rubber sheets and blankets. 
in case there's any live wires from the batteries sticking from the car. Like, if any, if any wires are sticking out when they come to rescue, like, if anyone gets hit by those, they could die instantly from the electricity flowing through there. So, yeah, they don't necessarily have, They might have to worry about a little bit of fire and stuff like that, but they have to worry about getting shocked and electrocuted instead if they wreck. That's, like, almost scarier. Hunter Massey, all right. How are you doing, Talladega Knights? Crash attempt two. I'll probably just get as many clips that are decent as possible and just start editing. Editing what I can together in my own time. Four years ago, tomorrow. Damn. It happened when I was one year old. Going on two. At least I landed upside down. I'm wondering. I don't think it will be. I'm gonna do... I'm gonna do, I think, two Indy 500s. I'm gonna do a full 100% race, probably with the DW12 mod. Then I'll race maybe like a 25, 30% race, something like that. Indy 500 using the yet-to-be-released IR18 or IR12, whatever it's called mod. I don't know what the proper term for that is, if it's the IR18 or the IR12. I've heard IR18, but the mod creator is labeling it the IR12 mod. Which, given that he's built one of the most realistic-looking mods I've ever seen, completely from scratch, with like all the little details and... Sure, he obviously knows a lot, way more about IndyCar than I do. So I'm sure he has a reason for labeling, for naming it the IR12, what he did. And Hussein, perfect time to wake up. TNT Productions, how are you doing? Sure he has some reason for calling it the IR-12 mod. And he's built that mod from scratch with like a bunch of details included. So he obviously knows a lot about IndyCar. I doubt he'd make a mistake like as blatant as that, as obvious as that, unless there was some reasoning behind it. Once again, Jean Girard doesn't flip. More than once. <laughs> that one's not even worth a replay. How much is the wheel and pedals I have? I was about 300 shipped. It was about 299 99 I believe. Through Logitech on Amazon. With Amazon Prime, so free shipping included. The Logitech G920, I believe I have it listed down in the description, as well as the face cam I use, which is actually just a 
DSLR camera I have running through USB with Sparko Cam, the free trial, and I just have the, the watermark cropped out. So the quality for my face cam could be way better, but I have it like severely cropped just to get rid of the. Because if I zoom out the crop of what my face cam is right now, you there'd be a big Sparko Cam watermark right over my head. Probably plan on streaming for another 30, 40 minutes. Bobby, what a crash. What a terrible crash, to quote Alan Bestwick. Next. Chat frozen. Okay, no, it's not. I always get paranoid that the chat is going to be frozen. I have a bunch of notifications. Are these all suggestions people are asking me to do? Yep, NRL's Racing League. Alright. Just checking to see what my notifications were. Dale is here, as well as Rodney Bailey. Do it for Dale. Oh. My back is starting to hurt. Might get going in like 25 minutes. Maybe I'll do like 2 hours, 15 minutes. Maybe I'll go like quarter after 8. sounds good. That sounds good. I do not have Forza Motorsport 6. The closest thing I have to that is Gran Turismo 5. I never owned a terribly big amount of non-NASCAR related games. I've owned a few though. I've owned most games in the Dirt series, at least 1, 2, 3. I don't know about the... I don't think I ever owned 4 or Rally or any of the ones around that era. But I did own the first three dirts. I had grid at one point. Darn it. I, like everyone, like all other kids, I owned basically all the need for speeds through, uh, from underground through, uh, Pro Street. I had Underground, Underground 2, Most Wanted, Carbon, and Pro Street. I believe I have Shift Unleashed 2 that I was playing for a little bit at some point. Once I get a b way better capture card that I can actually run in my game consoles into my computer, I will do a lot more other game streaming, but... Until I get a way better captured card, unless I want to have to do hours and hours and hours worth of editing for a 10 minute video... I can't record. I can just record them. I can't do it live. Until I get a better capture card, my only options for streaming is anything through an emulator through my computer or just NR 2003 or anything on Steam, which I don't have anything on Steam because I am, I am broke. Oh, it is officially the IR 12. That's what I thought. I kept seeing IR 18. But the, yeah, the creator of the mod had it labeled IR-12, and I figured if he knows that much about IndyCar to be building that detailed of a mod from scratch, he must have a reason for naming it the IR-12.
What? What? That moment you think you hear police sirens and it's actually just your stupid part Siamese cat howling off in the background. Yeah, I thought I heard police sirens. I was like, what the heck? So it wasn't going away and then nope, it just... Off in the distance. And it continues. Oh, I can't hear it because the game audio going. Come on, Rudicky Bubby. Come on. Alright, that was pretty good. We didn't... We didn't land upside down, but... The way we started flipping was good, and the tumbles were pretty close. I'll save that. That'll be part three, or attempt three. Because we actually got some tumbles out of Jean Girard. It was only twice, but it was still better than nothing. Two tumbles is better than one. I should write a kid's book called that. About the joys of crashing virtual cars. Two tumbles is better than one. Alright, next, after I name this, Talladega Knights Crash Attempt 3. Okay. That cat's name is Emilio. Hello, Dick Trickle. Greatest name in NASCAR ever. Hope you're racing in peace somewhere. Your name is still all over the record boards at Slinger Super Speedway. The Wall of Champions. The Slinger Wall of Champions. I'm also starting to get hungry, so... I'm gonna need to eat something soon. I just realized I haven't eaten. Have I? No. Let me think before I try making that claim. I only had some Kool Aid earlier. No, I. Yeah, aside from some Kool Aid, I haven't eaten or drank anything today. Stop bugging me. I love you, but you shed so goddamn much, and you're always wandering around by my pedals. Hair gets into the little slits in the pedals, and then next thing you know, I crack them open once every couple months, and the inside of my pedals looks like a dead cat got in there. Just because how much hair is inside. Stuck in all the gears and the wires and everything. Alright, that one was... That one was... Crappy. Well, let's restart that. Jean Girard never even went over. I follow NASCAR and a little bit of IndyCar. That's basically all I have the brain capacity to follow while I'm trying to work my multiple jobs and operate this YouTube channel at the same time. And I follow the Packers religiously. I'd probably be in a lot few or maybe a few more different types of motorsports series able to follow them more closely if I wasn't such a diehard Packers fanatic. I mean it's May or going on May it's almost May and I've been following the Packers page multiple times a day just draft stuff. You're not playing a game for another four months. Only four months till football time. I don't want to work. I just want to crash on these cars all day. a pretty groovy bass solo in the middle of that song. For 
for someone who plays bass, I can appreciate that. Alright, that one was no good. The no good, dirty, rotten attempt. Alright, so at least I got some decent ones. I can try to start editing some of the clips together. Next! Oh, bears. Bears! <laughs> you guys have good baseball teams, you guys have good hockey teams, you guys have good basketball. You guys have a good basketball team. Let Wisconsin have football. Wisconsin sucks at every other, other sport. At least we have football to be proud of, kind of. The Packers and the Badgers are usually pretty damn decent year in and year out. It's a shame that Favre and Rodgers only have two rings between the two of them, but I don't know if the Packers can fix their defense. And maybe get Rodgers another Super Bowl or two before he retires. God knows it wasn't for f fucking Brandon Bostick's dumbass. We would have went to the Super Bowl in 2014 and played the Patriots, who they beat in the regular season that year. The Super Bowl that every non-biased fan has been begging for since they... Basically since 2009 or 10, Brady versus Rodgers. It's only ever happened once in the regular season. Guess who won? Rodgers. And they play again this year. Barring one of them getting injured in the meantime, Brady and Rodgers are playing each other this year. And no stand. Ouch. Jeez. Just the way he was tipped and then slammed down onto the driver's side, that would have hurt. His like shoulders and arms would have went through the window net and hit the ground. Yes, I cussed. Sue me. I very rarely swear anymore. Except for... Thinking about... That was the worst... That was the most angry I've ever been at a sports game. <laughs> I still haven't gotten over that. I don't think the Packers have until they win another championship. Two thousand fourteen slash fifteen NFC Championship game will haunt me until the Packers get another championship. <sighs> Why did I have to bring that up? Now I'm just thinking about that. That still gives me nightmares. That Marshawn Lynch run where they just let him waltz right in. That two-point conversion where Russell Wilson was sacked at like the 30-yard line, but he just threw up a prayer and haha -ha Clinton Dix just stood there motionless and just made no attempt to stop as he just watched it float right into the hands of the tight end for a successful two-point conversion. God damn onside kick with Brandon Bostick. Oh my god. I think he was cut like an hour after that game. Alright, that one didn't work. Hey, look at that. We both landed upside down, but we're way too far away from each other. Can I recreate a whole race one day? I'm gonna try to. At some point, that race that Bill Elliott did where he blew an engine a couple early on and he went a couple laps down and the entire race stayed green and he came back to win it. I am going to try to do that at some point. Yeah, for those of you that don't know the story behind it, everyone knows the, the surface story. The Packers had the big lead in the 2014 NFC Championship game and then they collapsed in the last five minutes. Just everything that could go wrong, did go wrong. Everyone talks about how bad Aaron Rodgers was at, was for that game, even though no one mentions that that was his MVP season and he played those last two playoff games literally with a partially torn calf muscle. That's why he was hopping around and he still damn near won it if it wasn't for Brandon Bostic. But yeah, on said 
ill-fated onside kick. Brandon Bostic, the guy who went up to try to grab it and had the thing bounce off his face and get recovered by the Seahawks, that guy, it was a designed kick recovery play where he was supposed to block and Jordy Nelson with surefire hands who was standing right behind him that had a clear shot, a, a perfectly clear shot. The only person in the way between him and the ball was Brandon Bostic. Oh, oh, do we actually got a decent one? I'll save that as attempt four. But yeah, Brandon Bostic, instead of sticking to his assignment, do your job, as Belichick would say, he decides to be a hero, jump up to try to get the ball, and the rest is history. The thing bounces off his face, the Seahawks recover, come back to score the go-ahead touchdown and win, and go on to the Super Bowl, and have the... And it's quickly, and it's kind of glad that they lost that Super Bowl the way they did, because it kind of took a little bit of the spotlight away from how terrible the Packers collapse was. But yeah, for those of you that don't know what I'm talking about, just go look up that Packers-Seahawks onside kick. Look where Brandon Bostic is, how the thing bounces off his face. And then look where Jordy Nelson is. Jordy Nelson was supposed to have a clear shot at the ball. Bostic, who was right in front of him, was supposed to go up and block to make sure none of the Seahawks had a chance to get it. And we all know that wouldn't have happened if Jordy Nelson had tried to catch the ball. Jordy Nelson wouldn't have had an onside kick bounce off of his face. And yeah, that going on four years ago now, five years ago, whatever that was, is still haunting me to this day. Ah, stupid. Stupid Brandon Bostic. <laughs> no one cares about my Packers rant. They're just still talking about the Talladega night stuff. Craig Bannock Curtis, how are you doing? Yeah, I'm pretty sure Brandon Bostic was cut like before that game was even over. And here's another little uh, stat for all you Aaron Rodgers haters. I forgot what the exact stat was. I'm. I apologize if I misquote it, but it was something along the lines of the last five overtime losses he's had, he hasn't touched the ball, which basically means the defense was so unreliable and so bad anytime the Packers went into overtime. The other team got the ball, won the coin toss, and the Packers just let them go right down and drive the game-winning touchdown without giving Aaron Rodgers a chance to touch the ball. For anyone who uh, compares Brady to Rodgers a lot, just look at some of the defensive stats Brady's had. And Brady's first couple Super Bowls he won, they had the number one defense in that league, or in the league at the time, I believe. And not to mention Brady also has the privilege of having the greatest head coach of all time. Darn it. That was no good. That one's not even worth a replay. Ugh. Sorry, I'll stop rambling about the Packers shortly. <laughs> I'm going to go for another five, ten minutes or so, and i got to get going. Miguel Quinn, Sam Coop, 78. How's everyone doing? Get out of here. I'll cut it after I'm done with the stream. Just sitting there facing the corner like that weirdo at the end of Blair Witch Project. <laughs> there are officially four times in the last ten years, it's my last Packer rant, I swear. Four times in the last ten years where if the Packers, either Favre or the defense, didn't choke there could have been a Packers versus Patriots rematch Super Bowl. 2007, when Favre threw that pick in overtime in that FC Championship game against the Giants. The Giants went on to play the Patriots and win in the helmet catch game. Kind of similar story with 2011. It wasn't quite as spectacular. That was the Packers' 15-1 season. And then they just flat out choked in the divisional round against the Giants at home. The Giants go on to win the Super Bowl that same year. Same thing against the Patriots if the Packers could have 
It's no guarantee they would have won the championship game that year, but then... 2014, the Seahawks game I was just ranting about. If they won that, they would have played Rodgers versus Brady in the Super Bowl. And then 2016, if the defense didn't give up like 84 points or whatever it was against the uh, Falcons, which I believe I actually live-streamed that pathetic game. The Packers-Falcons uh, NFC Championship game. The Packers would have went on to play the Patriots in that game, too. Yeah, right there. Four times in the last decade where the Packers were just won a couple playoff plays slash non-chokes away from having a Packers-Patriots Super Bowl rematch. 2007, 2011, 2014, 2016. It was close. And I gotta say, as much as I don't want to see other teams, like, other teams' fans just suffering brutally, especially ones that I don't have anything against, like the Saints. That Saints loss against the Vikings this year and the Falcons loss in the Super Bowl kind of makes the Packers collapse against the Seahawks not look quite as bad in comparison. <laughs> At least that one didn't happen in the Super Bowl. We are a couple minutes away from going to the Super Bowl, but it didn't happen in the Super Bowl. Can I say Super Bowl more times? Super Bowl. Darn it, what am I doing wrong now? Still good. Still good, I'm gonna race John Gerard back to the finish. <laughs> Alright, no I'm not. Alright, two more attempts. Hender Avengers. I wouldn't say that, but I appreciate the compliment. I gotta say, I over the years, I've disliked Patriots as an organization and Tom Brady. I will say I do not mind Tom Brady at all. I will say he's a little, not much, a little overrated. But I do not like Patriots. The stereotypical Patriots fans that just will blindly say Brady's the GOAT, we're super cocky, we're just going to shit all over your team. Oh, five rings, suck it, bitch, all that stuff. The one argument towards Brady not being the GOAT I'm yet to get any sort of logical rebuttal towards is everyone wants to give him the praise. Oh, sweet, Brady's got five rings more than any other starting quarterback in NFL history. He's got five rings. He's got five rings. They want to give him all the praise for the five wins, but yet they're the first to blame the rest of the team when you bring up the... Uh, Patriots three losses in Super Bowls. See, I like how it's that during the Super Bowl wins, it's, oh, Tom Brady, Tom Brady's the GOAT, it's all Tom Brady, it's all Tom Brady. It was all single-handedly Tom Brady. Tom Brady got the five Super Bowl wins, but then when you bring up the three losses that he has, and, oh, it was the defense, the defense collapsed, the defense choke, oh, it was the defense. And then when you try using that same argument, for Aaron Rodgers, why he doesn't have more rings than those same Patriots fans will laugh at you. That's what I don't like. That's the Patriots fan mentality that annoys me. But as a whole, I do not mind the Patriots organization. Just that hypocritical mentality of, oh, Tom Brady's the, gro the GOAT, he did everything single-handedly, but when you bring up their failures, then all of a sudden it was the rest of the, of the team's fault. I'm sorry, guys. Joe Montana, he only had four Super Bowl wins, but guess what? He went to four Super Bowls and won them all. He never had a single loss. So for you Brady fans, if you want to give him all the praise and all the credit for those five Super Bowl wins, that's fine. But then he's got to take the blame for those three losses. And yeah, I can use the same argument towards Aaron Rodgers. Yeah, it was kind of the rest of the team that collapsed in the, that NFC Championship game. But... I mean, that was if it wasn't for that two-point conversion and an onside kick, they wouldn't have won. Not to mention, he won. He was winning for 55 minutes of that game with a partially torn calf muscle in one of his legs. All right, I'm done ranting. All I'll say is this. Anyone who actually watches football and has watched football for the majority of their life, when they see the player and they see how they play and they see the talent and what they're capable of, People have been watching 
once they see Rodgers and Brady side by side, true fans of the sport know who who the better athlete is. Yeah, Tom Brady has more accolades because he's been around seven years longer. Technically eight. He's been around eight years longer than Rodgers. Has had a decent running game his entire career, or he's one of the better defenses in his entire career, with the exception of the 2016 season. And not to mention the greatest head coach of all time his entire career. Yeah, I've never once seen Brady, seen Brady with four defenders right in his face two seconds after the snap, rolling to his left, jumping in midair, twirling around in midair, and throwing the ball, having your feet not planted whatsoever while you're being crushed by four separate 300-pound guys and then still have the ball go 65 yards downfield right into the receiver's hands. The Arizona Hail Mary I'm talking about. I don't want to be sound too bitter towards Seahawks fans. I mean, God knows I have bad memories of the Seahawks about that uh, NFC Championship game. Darn it. Darn it, that wasn't good. But I don't... I think the Legion of Boom is over. I'm sorry to say, Seahawks fans, but... I mean, you've got no offensive line whatsoever. Like, Russell Wilson is always running for his life. You've got Doug Walt Baldwin and a couple decent receivers. I mean, but the, the Legion of Boom is gone. Everyone that was worth a damn on your on your legendary defense is now gone, except for, I believe, Cam Chancellor. All right, guys, I'm done ranting with football. <laughs> for the last, like, 30 minutes, I, I'm sorry. 13th Rocket, thanks for joining, by the way. That's just my opinion. I could be completely wrong. It's coming from the same guy that said the Packers are going to go like 12-4 and 4 or 13-3 and 3 the last 10 years and win the Super Bowl every single year. I'm like the Skip Bayless for the Packers. Although I actually have logic. <laughs> Alrighty, guys, last attempt. I'm probably not even going to do it. Actually, I will do a backwards big one. I'll do it at Talladega 70s, 80s. I can't do it at this track because the track settings, I couldn't couldn't pull off a wreck without everyone just slamming on their brakes for right away because of how high the grip is. Come on. Oh, darn it. Well, at least I got at least, like, three or four decent clips where I can start trying to edit parts of the wreck from. I can, like, l analyze each part of the wreck, look at the clips on the in the movie, like, oh, that part looks similar. I'll edit that part from this particular replay and add that in there. You guys know what I mean? You know what I mean. All right, let's cause a backwards big one at Talladega 70s, 80s, and I got to get going. Thank you so much for watching it, everyone, at this point. Ashley Turk, NASCAR lover 38. Thank you very much for loving the recreations. Oops. Meant to go to Talladega 70s, 80s, not this one. Not this glitched out one. Here we go. This other glitched out one. <laughs> Alright, time for... Alright, we'll do the thing I usually do with Talladega 70s, 80s, where I go the right way once and then see what kind of big wreck the AI that are programmed to cause causes. Because I have their drafting and bunching distance turned way down. I have restrictor plates off, I have the temperature way down, so they're going to go ridiculously fast. And they're really close to each other, so they're probably going to wreck within a lap. It's just a matter of where and if I can avoid it. One of these days, I'm just going to have like a three hour long stream like this, just... Wreck Avoidance Practice and our 2003 live stream. Just a track where we go ridiculously fast where the AI are programmed to cause a wreck like within the first lap or so. I just practice my wreck avoidance skills. Did I know that Matt Kenseth was coming back? I did. I announced that on the stream I did about a week ago where I tried to recreate his 2009 flip. 
part three or four, whatever it was. Can they make it past turn one without wrecking? They do. Can they make it past turn two? They're like six wide up there. They're literally five or six wide. Oh, there they go. Brian Vickers around. Whoa, whoa. Who wouldn't go? Oh, oh, oh. Who would go up on the house? Click, 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 click. Down to the gymnasium with old St. Nick. I have no idea why I went into that. <laughs> don't ask. Don't ask, don't tell. Oh, that's something else. <laughs> Uh-oh. But yeah, how about that wreck avoidance? On my part, on that first lap. Let's look where it was like six wide for a second. It was almost six wide. It was right where Tony Stewart was. Smoke himself. Alright, yeah, this is what I saw. This is right where the wreck happened, too. I saw Kenseth there, and I thought he was going to go 6 wide, but 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. If you count the 55 right there. And then the 1 comes down into the 84, 83, whoever that is. Almond Ding Dong! <laughs> I haven't changed that. He takes out his teammate. Was that Brian Vickers or Scott Speed, who was in the 83 back then? Ryan Vickers. Rusty Wallace airborne at Talladega once again. Alrighty guys, that is it for this one. I'm just going to do a backwards big one. Coming on the backstretch, taking them out as they're coming on to turn two. Or onto the backstretch off of turn two, I meant to say. And I gotta get going. I really appreciate you all watching up to this point. If you guys could please hit the like button if you haven't yet, I would really appreciate it. If there happens to be anyone watching right now that's stumbled upon my channel, hasn't subscribed yet, you enjoyed the video, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And since I primarily do live streams, once you subscribe, if you hit that little bell button, that's, I believe, how you get the, the direct notifications for when I go live and when I schedule the streams. I believe. That's what I've been told, and from my experience, that seems right. From my people that I'm subscribed to. Ding dong. Oh, AJ, that was a humdinger. Maybe here we go. Oh, they're already wrecking. We gotta do this one again. They were already, already wrecking in turn two. The backwards big one wasn't as big as it could have been. Didn't live up to its full Moababo potential. So what the heck happened? Can we make it through tur two turns? I'm guessing right up here where they're all squeezed together. Dale Jarrett and the 43, I'm assuming, is Jeff Green. No, Bobby Labonte. That's where it starts. Then Dale Jarrett, I believe, in the 88 is taken out. Matt Kenseth is taken out. Is that uh, Scott Riggs in the 10? Jamie McMurray in the 26. All taken out. Alright, so we gotta try that one more time. And hope that they don't wreck before I can get to them. Windy Striker. Who else hasn't gotten a shout out? Really appreciate you guys watching. What do you want? Here, you wanna be at the wheel? You wanna be at the wheel? Here. Nope, nope. He does not like being held. He's the most affectionate cat ever, but he does not like being held. He'll come up on your lap, he'll, he'll want to crawl under my blankets with me every night to sleep. Do all that crap, but when it comes to being held, he just really for me. I don't get it. Tony Stewart's 2012 crash. I tried that once, I did a really bad reenactment of it, using the wrong ear cars. That was like one of my first reenactments ever, when I restarted up my channel after my decent hiatus. 
But yes, I've tried a live stream once since, but yeah, I do need to eventually do that. Alrighty, they actually made it. Actually, I don't think they did. They were split up again. I think they might have wrecked on the on the very start. Yeah, because we got cars flying in. At like full speed. I think they wrecked on the start. We can't get a good attempt. Yeah. Right here. They can't even make it past the start finish line. Alrighty guys, that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please hit the like button and subscribe. Go check out my social media links all down below in the description. I'm on Facebook and Twitter. I also stream on Twitch if you're interested in viewing the streams on there. Last but not least, if you want to help support this channel, please go check out my Patreon page. Thank you so, so much to Ryan Fitzy, Tommy Joyce, and Jay Barker for your support on there. I really appreciate it. If you want to find out how you can get a whole bunch of different rewards from anywhere from a shout-out to a handwritten thank you note and anything in between, like a... Uh, like our live stream of your choice being done ASAP, like I'm going to be doing Jay Barker's suggestions a little bit later this week. So stay tuned for those. Let me know your suggestions down in the comments below. Till next time, hope you have a good rest of your day. Peace.